Hey guys, DIY car guy here. Uh, got a comment. One of you guys said that uh, you'd like to watch if uh, me going to the junkyard and picking some of this stuff up. So today I'm here. I'm gonna pick up the last few pieces for the interior. I don't think I'm in the right row. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd take you guys along. See what we can get. So it's a pretty good little hike back here. It's a pretty decent sized junkyard. Uh, I'm at uh, LKQ, pick your part in Nashville. Um, it's a, it's really the best junkyard close to me, close ish to me that uh, had the trucks I'm looking for. I still don't think I'm in the right row, but that had what I, what I'm looking for. So I figured I'd pop out here to see if I could get some stuff. So let's, let's see what we can get, see what we can get into. All right guys, so they're gonna give you a ticket. Uh, they printed out a whole bunch of my year of truck. Well, my style of truck. So here's the first victim. We're gonna pick apart, see if we can't find anything cool. Something to hold down in here. Here, the blue one um just noticed it's got the same kind of scale carpet so i guess it's not really as rare as i thought but that's all right i figured it wasn't work truck well this one i'm gonna look at that because uh i think i might be able to use that it looks pretty good so i'm gonna take a look at that that's really it's really the only thing i'm gonna be able to grab off this one so i'll run over there and check it out all right well blue one didn't work out too good passenger door couldn't get into check that part out so I'm gonna look around a little bit more before I come back to it see if maybe I can't get a easier part out she looks like she's also gonna be a tougher to get into but uh, I think this one may be a little bit easier because I mean it's if you have seen Silverado I mean it's basically the same thing so I'm gonna peek in here real quick so in this white one I think I found a piece I'm gonna be able to use that I can get to a little easier. Um, I don't know, it's a little, a little nasty. All right, guys, well, it wasn't on my list, but I came across an avalanche. Um, I know some of the interior parts line up all right. So let's peek in here, see what we can get into. Well, they have to this thing clean. If I extend a cab, you can get some pretty decent seats. But yes. So on to the next one. Um, found a couple pieces I can run back to. Check them out. But I'm gonna keep my options open for right now. And just see what I can find. So uh, there's, a, there's a few trucks here. So let's see. We can find. So what I'm looking for today are two front seats, the um, dash or the cluster bezel piece, which almost seems like it's going to be impossible to find because most of these are gone. Um, a passenger door panel, that under dash knee panel. And I believe that's it, really. But most of it's gonna be pretty easy. A lot of it's gonna be pretty hard. And uh, it's just like stuff like that. Like that door panel would've been perfect, but you know, nobody follows junkyard etiquette. But that's kind of a bummer. But oh well, I'm sure we'll find one. This is like this is like the fourth truck I've seen with this carpet, so nowhere near as rare and cool as I thought it was. But see, that's the underneath panel that I need. I might be able to pick that off and maybe find a glove box somewhere. So this is definitely a, a one to come back to. I definitely got quite a few options here. Um, and a few. 
pretty much in this one. But I think this one was actually a year or two before mine. So let's see where we're going to now. Oh, we can check out the Sierra over here. We got the Sierra over here. It's not on my list, but I know the Sierras are interchangeable with the Silverados because they're basically the same truck. It's it's a mess in here. So as you can see, got some spider webs. As you can see, I mean, some of these trucks have only been on the lot for a few days, and they've they've been pretty well picked. Um, it's kind of hard to find some of the door panels because people just rip them off, needing window window motors stuff like that and just throw them on the ground so they get all nasty i might go back and pick up that other one there was a certain kind of door panel i was looking for but it doesn't really look like i'm gonna be able to get it so uh you know it, it comes with it um oh here we go it's got the dash in or it's got the glove box in it let's uh see about tearing that out mm. well this is the last truck. Not done, but it's a bummer. So I don't really want to paint any of this. So I'm trying to find stuff that I can clean up. I think it's the, the one in that very first truck. The one that is the one that I'm gonna end up getting. Um, I mean, there's kind of a score. I got these little pieces. A little, I go on the, um, you know, the upper part up here. I believe both of them are in here. So, I mean, yeah. Yep, driver and passenger, so that's kind of a score. I can take these. I should have probably got a wheelbarrow. Um, because if I find seats, I'm getting them. And a wheelbarrow would be very, very helpful because it was a hike back here. So what I'm probably gonna end up having to do is get little parts that I need. Just carry as much as I can. And then if I find some seats, go get a wheelbarrow. Come back. But I'm gonna keep searching. So that's kind of I guess technically two things off the list. I'll just put them in a pair. So that's one thing off the list. So let's keep digging. All right. So if you don't know, I believe. How's it going? Good. How you doing? If you don't know, I believe you can use parts from the 99 to 02 trucks, like interior wise. I know the dashes are a little different. The Sierras are obviously the same. Um, avalanches, stuff like that. You can interchange most of those parts. Some of them you can't. But, I mean, they're all basically the same trucks. So I'm just giving you a little, trying to give you a little bit of facts that I've learned just from owning this truck for a little bit. So I'm kind of taking you through here trying to find some stuff because um, I don't really know what else to talk about. And I know you guys probably just don't want to see a bunch of cars. I mean, you do. Probably why you're here, car channel. But um, there's a there's another blue one here. Let me try to dive into. See if I can't set some stuff down. <clears throat> also trying to. Oh, well, there's no. There's no seat that there. Also trying not to film people. There are people out here. So I'm trying to keep it on my face because I mean, you know, I'm sure people don't want to be filmed coming out here doing stuff like this. A lot of people are just trying to get back home, trying to fix their cars. I'm just kind of out here tearing mine apart. So, oh, this door's open. I hope nobody needed that door. It was kind of messed up anyways. So, I actually think this one is clean. Really clean, actually. The hardest part now is gonna be finding a glove box. Cause this one doesn't have glove box, but this whole piece is clean. So I actually think I'm gonna pull this out. Uh, maybe run back some of the other trucks, try to get a glove box. Maybe not, maybe I'll run, maybe I'll run up, pay for all this stuff, and then come back out with a wheelbarrow. Might be easier, especially with the seats. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna go ahead and take this out. Um, I'll probably actually, it looks like all the bolts are in there. So I'll actually probably just go ahead and show you guys how to take it out uh, if you really wanted to. 
Or I can show you how to do it in the other truck. I should probably show you how to do it in the other truck. I'll have more time and it's the shade at the house. It's not hot. So I'm just gonna pull this out. Try to look at some of the other trucks, see what I can pull so I know exactly where to come back to. And uh yeah, see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, well I just pulled that out. And um you boys dumb. We figured it out, fall out, you know. And I was pulling up here, I'm just like these clips are, you know, made of solid steel, apparently, welded together. But, no, there was a bolt hidden up in there. And I pulled on her. And, you know, they do like they do. And it broke. But, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Because that all screws into place. Once it's clipped and screwed in, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with it going anywhere. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this. Because it's just in really good shape. And I can use it. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Go maybe see if I can't find a glove box to go with it. Uh, maybe go check out. Hopefully I didn't lose any tools over here. That would suck. I mean, I'll, I'll be coming back, so I'll, I'll circle back through and make sure I get everything. But I'm going to go because there are more trucks up up the rows. Okay, I'm probably going to go through them, see if I can't find anything else on my way out. So I know where to come back to. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take these out to the truck for now. And get the wheelbarrow and everything try to get the seats and maybe a couple other pieces well running through found this and uh junkyard etiquette guys now yeah, they probably tried to pull it off and broke it but i got super excited because it was hidden under the truck and all i could see was this piece but it's broken that's what happens but i did find a glove box it's a little dirty but i can clean it up so i think i'm gonna nab that real quick well, not much through the yard yet. I uh, still got a few trucks I can hit up, but not having very much luck with door panels or that uh, dash bezel. So that might be something I might have to buy. I was hoping they had it here. They got they got a ton of these trucks here, but yeah, it's probably something I'm gonna have to break down and just buy it for not really finding any good seats either which is kind of a bummer but i'll keep looking that's what you do thought i saw another one over there <laughs> i'm hoping i was kind of bummed out because in the because i have a junkyard near my house and uh the one over there where I took most of the interior parts out of it, uh, had leather seats. At least the rear seat was. So I was really bummed out. I was gonna put a leather seat, leather rear seat in and try to put leather front seats in. But the leather rear seat that was back there was all sorts of messed up. That one was a, a definite work truck. So it was all sorts of messed up. You know, you couldn't, I didn't really see a point in trying to save it. And plus, leather seats are a little harder to find. They're normally electric. I don't have power seats, so that would have been a that would have been a whole animal, a whole other animal. I mean, it probably would have been a good video because I would have eventually made it power seats because I'm not gonna put a power seat in there and not, you know, be able to use the seat. Oh, no way. Is this the score? I can barely see it. What's going out? I'm uh, I'm not sure. It's pretty cracked up. Like, that's broken, that's not that bad, but then it's, it's got a good chunk taken out of it up here. Some of the clips are missing. Uh, probably just keep looking around, see if I can't find another one. I'm getting a little bummed, and uh, as far as that aspect, but I don't know, maybe it'll turn around. The cool thing is about junkyards, you know, when you're walking around, you get tired, you got, have a, you got an abundance of places you can set it down at. Set your stuff down, kind of take a break for a minute. It's getting a little warm out here. Tennessee's not the, not the cold, not the coolest place. I mean, came out here at, what, I think it was nine? I'm not sure what time it is now, but it was already 80 degrees when I got out here at nine. So there's another one over there I'll go check out, but yeah, so it's, it's just gonna get warmer. So hopefully I can wrap this up pretty quick. All right, guys, uh, I scored. Found this piece, it's in real good condition. It's a little dirty, it was on the ground, but uh, I think that's gonna work. As of right now, Still only have the bottom dash piece, those two door covers, or two little door pieces. I just found the um, 
poster bezel, so that's cool. Oh, I still don't have any luck with the door panels or seats, but keep looking and let you know. All right, guys, so you get back in the truck. It's got super, super hot. I'll tell you what the temperature was, but the temp light went out in here. It's just not showing up. But um, yeah, it got super, super hot. Uh, all I got was the was the dash uh, bezel, and then that underneath kit bolster. That's I consider a win. Those are two very expensive pieces, and I only spent like. Save money. Didn't get the seats like I wanted. Didn't get my door panel, but I'm that much closer. Uh, I'll try to. I don't know if I'm gonna film or I'll probably film it. I don't know if I'm gonna release the video of me putting like the dash. Uh, cluster bezel on or the underneath panel until I get the seats and then I can make that kind of a whole like uh, you know send off or just being completely done with the swap because you know I want to be done with this thing I don't want to make it any any longer than it has to be I think it's I think I'm on part four so I think the next video I'll make will be, the, will be the part five and I don't really want to make it like six seven but uh, I'll probably take you guys along with me to get the seats. Kind of make that part of the same video. This is going around these guys. I make that part of the same video. So uh, just let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you want to see more like it, I know. I I can't remember the person's name, but they they were the ones that were like, um, you know, it'd be cool if you took us to the junkyard with you. I know I probably didn't show a lot. I was carrying tools and everything. That's one of the main reasons I don't, but if you guys want to see that stuff, then I'll start and I'll just start kind of figuring out a better way to carry everything. Um, but just let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you want to see more like it, if you don't care to see it. Um, if you liked, uh, if you liked uh, the fun facts about it, I tried to give a little bit of facts about the trucks. So if you're here for the for, um, like the 03 trucks or the Silverado trucks, I'll, I'll try to give little facts about them. I actually learned... Um, I actually learned uh, I actually learned a little bit myself just in the junkyard um, if the truck has a um, center console like the, the one that goes all the way up to the dash and there's no metal jump seat if the truck has that that dash bezel will not work on the truck that has the jump seat with the little um, pocket in there it won't work with that I tried it I pulled it off one truck and put it on one truck that had it like mine and it it didn't fit so i learned that so i figured i'd share that with you guys but hopefully the next one will be me getting the seats getting the last little pieces i need to finish this up and hopefully that that'll be the end of the swap and then i can start getting on to other things but thanks for watching uh, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. That'll help me out a lot. Uh, comment, let me know what else you want to see. And uh, just let me know how I did. Uh, feedback is always helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody who's subscribed to my other video, or uh, subscribe. Everybody who's commented and uh, liked my other videos. Everybody who's subscribed to the channel. It's not very many. I think as I'm recording this right now, there's only four. But... It helps a lot. It means a lot to me. It really does. I'm just trying this out. <clears throat> I'm just trying to give you guys you know, something to watch. Uh, to help you out. And, you know, if you're scared to do something that looks a little rough, which none of really anything that I'm doing right now looks rough on this truck. But uh, I've done some stuff. I can.
can run you through stuff. Somebody wanted me to make a video about um, uh, putting an aftermarket radio in. Uh, my truck already has an aftermarket radio, but I plan on tearing it out and just kind of walking you through the steps because it's it's not very hard. The it gets it gets somewhat pricey only because these trucks it's very um, it's very strange to put a radio in. It's not like a regular it's not like a regular car. It doesn't have its own power source. You got to tap it in, get a certain wiring harness that'll tap into the power. Unless you want a rat's nest up under your net, up under your dash, and I know nobody wants that if they care about their truck. But yeah, I'll be I'll be definitely getting to all that. Um, definitely look forward to more posts. Um, and thanks for watching. Like I said, smash that uh, thumbs up button, subscribe button, comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.